Hello everyone, Jamie McQuaid from Magnet Forensics here with a quick video to show you how to do an Azure acquisition using Magnet Axiom Cloud. So we've got Axiom up here ready to go. So I'm gonna to go to Evidence Sources. We're gonna go over to Cloud and choose Acquire Evidence, just like any other cloud evidence. And now you can see you've got a huge list of uh, sources that we can grab, the platforms that we can grab here. And Azure is right here, all alphabetical. Click on Azure. It'll ask you to sign in. Now first, you need to have all this information. It requires a bit of prep work beforehand if you've never done it before. Um, if you've ever, if you haven't, click on this link. It tells you how to get all of these details. Application ID, tenant ID, subscription ID, client secret. All of those are required from either your Azure admin or fortunately, if you are the Azure admin, you have to get them yourself. Now, let me bring this over here just to give you a quick uh, rundown of it. And you can see we've got a great how-to article to show you how to get all of those details. So how to get a, create a role, um, accessing the CLI, all of that sort of stuff, verifying it, and allows you to get all of the required information that you need, client secret app ID, subscription ID, all of that can be found here. I'm not gonna walk through how to do that. That would depend on your environment and, and where you're pulling from uh, on how to set that up. But like I said, if you've gotten an admin, ask them for these this type of information. You can provide them with this document. If you are the admin, follow the steps and it should be pretty straightforward. So let's get up and start doing our acquisition. Now, I've already got this ready, so I'm going to pause the video and load in my uh, my details here and hit sign in. So just one second. Okay, it's signed in and we can see we it's pulled up the subscription that we want and all of the, the details here. So again, a bit of a details for us. We've got a few um, uh, VMs to grab and this will pull down a VM. You can see they're pretty big. You know, these are basically virtual machines that you're going to be pulling down here. So be prepared. Your, the time it takes is going to be reflective of the time it takes to um, download that much data over your internet connection. That's at, at the very least. Um, and just be aware that there is some costs uh, associated to it, depending on your setup and, and, and how you're pulling this down. So just be aware of that on in terms of storing the uh, the image or downloading it as well. So just, just be aware there are additional costs to it. The default is to remove the image from the container. That's usually what I leave, but if you want to leave it up there for completion's sake, you can leave that up there. So I've got a new VHD test here, just a, a sample one. This is a Linux image, 30 gigs. So I'm going to select that, hit next, and it adds in as a source. Now from here, we can do everything we normally would do. We can add other sources. We can go back into cloud and add something else. Maybe we've got an AWS um, uh, acquisition that we need to do. Whatever you need to do it might be good because it's a 30 gig download to just do this one once, but if you've got multiple sources, you can easily add them in. I'm not gonna go through the other, um, other items here. Uh, I'm just gonna go down to cloud artifacts. You can see all cloud artifacts there, um, but obviously um, we'd look for specific ones for, uh, for that uh, VM. Hit go, analyze evidence, and it'll start acquiring that data. Like I said, this one's 30 gigs, so whatever it takes to download 30 gigs over my internet connection, that's probably how long it's gonna take. Um, well, it's gonna first create the data and then and then download it, and then um, I'm just gonna pause the video here and uh, come back when it's finished. Okay, and we're back and the search is completed. It took about uh, 37 minutes or so to uh, download and process the image. So with that, we've got a case up and ready. It processed, it was a Linux image, so it processed uh, all the artifacts and the file system as, uh, as we need be. Just to take a quick look, we can see what actually got uh, acquired here. Um, you've got the, the JSON details, the zip of it, but if you dive in here, we can take a look at uh, the, the VHD image here. It's a bunch of, a bunch of folders deep because Azure will create a bunch of uh, folders to house the, uh, the VM and then Axiom will as well. So it's, uh, it's a few extra folders deep, but you'll see uh, as you dive in, you get a VHD um, virtual machine image. Now you could open that up with a bunch of other tools as well, as long as they support, whether forensics tools or other tools as long as they support VHD images or Axiom will handle VMs or VHDs just on the fine on its own so if you receive a VHD that you didn't and you didn't do the acquisition you can load the VHD itself in as an image either way you know whether you use Axiom for the acquisition or um, add something else for the acquisition you can load those in and uh, it's basically just a snapshot of that uh, uh, VM at, a, at that given point in time. Uh, now on the cloud, it would have stored it and then deleted it as based on our settings. And at the end, you get uh, some basic uh, case summaries here, um, the VMs here, and we can go into the artifacts. You can see the uh, the regular uh, 
uh, artifacts that you would normally uh, get in uh, in whatever image that uh, we're looking at. Like I said, this one's not a, a very large one. It was just a 30 gig sample image that I used, but you can see that uh, there are anything that's uh, that could be valuable there. So uh, again, that's how you do an Azure acquisition with Axiom Cloud. Thanks for watching.